Okay, guys. So, this uh, we're going to be doing a review on how to defeat tips and tricks on how on on, on the frost mode. Wow. All right. Kind of messed up on that one. However, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to take take out the frostman and show some tips and tricks, all right? As you can see, oh. <laughs> I uh, just ignore all that. I was trying to get the, um, uh, the pirate staff, uh, but it failed miserably. So I'm gonna record uh, only five minutes of commentary to keep the video short, and the rest it's gonna be me fighting the Frost Moon. Or yeah, estimately five minutes. Anyway, no quick wasting time. We're gonna first start with the equipment you most likely need. Now I recently got the Palladian, the Palladian's hammer. Now, you could do this with the Terra Blade or the Flareon, however, <clears throat> it's pretty hard to do with the Terra Blade. I tried doing it with the Terra Blade and it failed miserably. You only, you probably get to wait four in like three minutes, that's bad. So you most likely get need the Godly Flareon or Demonic Flareon or Ruthless. Just skip now, in. now. Now I would use I would use this and these two weapons. If you fought the pumpkin moon, um, it's pretty e it's actually easier than the frostman. I would advise you get the horseman's blade and use this. Uh, all right. Uh, for, my, for my accessories, uh, um, uh, if you're going for a now I'm doing this as the melee class. In the future, I'm gonna be doing this as the uh, I'm gonna do this as the uh, what's it called? Uh, as the mage summoner ranger so yeah keep that keep that on the look but yeah you most likely need it I'm as you can see I have the dragon mask and it has buffs what this means is that I'm playing on old generation console I'm playing on the PS3 you guys are wondering what what, what what's my username um this is my username right over here oh yeah I'm hot online I'll tell you guys later but yeah, I'm using the, you can use a chlorophyte mask, but yeah. So, the beetle shell, beetle leggings, um, any wings, any wings, the onk shield, celestial stone, you can use the turtle shell, but I'm going to be using it, and the palladian shield, I probably shouldn't be using that to switch it out, but I'm going for defense wise, so yeah. So yeah, um, yeah. Now I only have three minutes left to, to record this part. So yeah, this video, this I video idea has been brought by Omega Flowery. Shout out to him. So yeah, guys. See you guys on the next one. Wait, um, I forgot. I only been recording for three minutes. I'm just, yeah. Um, yeah. The next, um, some tips now. The tips are gonna be. Is that if you guys don't know, the frozen turtle shell only activates only activates when you're when you're below 25 health, 25 percent health. That would be pretty bad. It increases it by 30. Now that's really special. That's really good. Another thing is that it's highly imp it's highly recommended to have the well-fed buff and possibly a wisp or any lighting source. That's completely optional right here. Um, another thing is that you ca you probably would need some friends as well. Now, I'm doing this full on solo, so yeah, just telling you guys. So yeah, uh, another thing is that uh, the flare on, make sure you allow every bubble to let go. So as you can see right here, it's like that, right? But when you're like up close and personal with something, you will most likely be, be like this. You will not deal as much damage, by the way. So make sure you aim diagonally like this, so you can release every single one. Another thing is that you need to have at least all of these, the legendary and godly. So yeah, guys, um, I've been recording for four minutes and forty seconds right now. So yeah, see you guys on the next one. All right, guys. So let's get in. Wave one. How to start wave one? Use. Just always use the. Le your horseman's blade and I already, I'm playing split screen here because I want to get far, far, far into this uh. so just try wave two just do the same thing wave three just go after the nutcracker 
and then wait for just go after ever screen. Yeah, I want press. I don't have to. I have to speak like really quickly for those ones. So yeah, find ever screen and take that bastard out. Okay. Ever screen is similar to uh, Morning War. They share their exact same AI. Uh, but the thing is about the ever screen is that he's uh, he has better drops than the Morning Wood. However, he is considered he he is considered harder. Now wave six, try to go after the elf copters. Nutcrackers and uh, Everscreen. Uh, as you can see, that's the green bushy dude over there. Is he, or is he, or does he even have considered the bushies? <laughs> I'm just joking about that one. So, anyways, uh, make sure only two can spawn at a time for this one. We're already in wave six. I don't know. I don't even have a watch in this game. It's just depressing. Now, wave seven, go after um, N. NK1, and for some reason my pal here just died. Shout out to Rooster Gamer for participating on this one. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't uploaded any videos though, so yeah, keep that one in mind. Now NK1 likes uh, now he has three phases according to the wiki. The first phase is when he starts shooting at you uh, from a distance. He uses rockets and the chain gun. Now he doesn't drop the chain gun. Now his second phase is when he gets all as easy when he gets all triggered. And yeah, guys, we got the yeah. As you can see right here, he sometimes shoots you down, or he shoots you with his uh, somehow penetrate wall penetrating uh, rockets. So don't tell me that he is the strongest entity uh, in the uh, 1.2.4.1. Yeah, yeah, I got that in my mind. You can see that's the little snowman Mooney over there, which is like, looks better than the pumpkin man, I don't, I don't understand, just joking. So yeah, ironically, we don't have any trees, so we just put in pumpkins, ironically, which I find pretty funny. So yeah, now we're already in wave 9. Now wave 9 is more, is very crazy. Wave 9 and 10 are pretty crazy, actually. Because that's when two bosses spawn at the same time. And my boy, and my boy over here is gonna about to die. I don't know about that. So I need to take him out and let him get the get all of it. Yeah, I'm also gonna die as well. Not really. This is what I'm talking about. If you're gonna die, you have to at least have some backup with you. The potions I recommend you get is are are the of course uh, super now. If you have an updated console, go for the super one. If you have the non-updated one, go for the greater ones. Alright. Now, the Krampus. Now, I'm not going to talk about the enemies. I'm going to only talk about the, the bosses because the enemies are rather easy to deal with, really, actually. And as you can see, the presents don't really deal that much damage. However, I still advise you to dodge them. So now wave 11. Now wave 11 is really interesting. I'm gonna get my ball over here. Now I ha I advise you to make something like this so you can get on if you try to get the North Pole. Now if she does appear, which we got lucky, you have to at least fly up. And I made like a little skyscraper over here. Um, some tips. This is basically over here. One tip is that uh, um, fly away from her all the time. You're not far enough so she can despawn. Um, you're actually close enough so she does not despawn. So you have to at least like run away from her if she tries to come after you. Another tip is that uh, um, another tip is that uh, she's most vulnerable when she does that s the spinny attack, which I don't don't remember what's it called. Uh. So yeah, she's more, most vulnerable when she does when she shoots her icicles at you. And don't get too high because well, she will she can despawn if she goes through the barriers, the sky barriers. And I don't know where she went. I think she died. Yeah, that that's the the was. Yeah, if she does not, if she goes away, just basically use your magic mirror. The Flacco easy to deal with. They have the lowest. Um, they have. Possibly one of the lowest defense in pre hard in hard mode, making them what rather easy actually. There comes the other, the other snow, the other one. So if you do get lucky, 
You can use the same tip from the for the pumpkin moon too. Um yeah. Wave eleven and yeah, this is yeah, that's what I'm talking about the spinny thing. She does she's most vulnerable at that position. And that's when you can riddle her with bullets and end up killing taking her out and I and I got kinda got a little selfish. Yeah. Wyverns can may take place. However, you can do this in, in a newly created world, by the way, making it easier, actually. And there comes the, the third one. Oh yeah, believe it or not, I kind of remixed this vid music, actually. It's not really the best, but it's kind of, it's not really, not really the best, but pretty decent. Oh yeah, so yeah, um... She sometimes does charges you like pumpkin, so watch out about that. And it kind of gets really annoying after a while. Yeah, my boy here is kind of like really mad actually. And she tends to go off screen a lot, so don't get all mad. Oh, what's another one? Yeah, you can deal lots of damage if you just. And there goes her. And I get really, and I'm so mad because, I'm just so mad because I haven't got that dang North Pole. Yeah, watch out the Yeti. The Yeti are really tanky. They kind of they kind of remind me of the Orga, the Orca or Orga from like PC PC uh, um, Terraria. Sadly, I don't have it though, which kind of got upset. But yeah, uh, let's continue off this one. I'm probably not gonna have any other tips because I kind of mentioned a lot of them. Now, one thing is that. You don't get too mad if you don't get to like wave 15, wave 20, because that's the max actually. But the sad thing is, is that this, this is, this invasion is so difficult, you can't defeat it like this. Like, I'm not joking. You have to make an AFK machine. And a lot of the videos, I try, I made one, and I got rid of it, because I got really mad. Like, there was no point of it. Because it didn't, like, I even got to see the Ice Queen. Seriously, I'm, I got that upset. And I made it, and it was made by Happy, though. So yeah, um, I'm gonna talk later, but not now because I'm kind of I'm kind of concentrated right now. Yep, and she's such a bastard and she just runs away. Yep, we're gonna meet you guys downtown, down. So yeah, some notes you gotta take is that this bot, this invasion used to be the hardest invasion in the game. Like, I'm not joking, this invasion used to be the hardest, uh, but, and it was considered end game, but now it's really useless in 1.3, uh, because you got like the select, your Martian Madness, which is easier, and you get better loot, uh, so basically you can skip the Frost Moon, really, but since I'm playing on the non- since I'm playing on the non-updated platforms, there was no Martians uh, to capture me, so yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and oh, and yeah, shout out to uh, Rooster Gaming for participating on this one because he can he really helped me actually. So yeah, um, yeah guys, see you on the next one. Peace.